गुड मॉर्निंग व्यूवर्स हाउ आर यू डेफिनेटली ऑल ऑफ यू आर फिट एंड हेल्दी एंड थैंक यू टू सब्सक्राइब माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड थैंक्स फॉर लाइक माई वीडियोज आई एम प्रशांत जैन इन द वीडियो हाउ टू ऑप्टेन अक्वाटिक फॉर्मुला विद द हेल्प ऑफ द मैथड कम्प्लीटिंग द स्क्वेयर इन दिस इक्वेशन वी विल डिस्कस विद द जनरल इक्वेशन दैट इज ए एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी इक्वल्स टू जीरो वेयर ए इज नॉट इक्वल्स टू जीरो a is not zero is mandatory condition for the quadratic equation if a becomes zero our x square vanish if x square vanish the remaining portion is bx plus c is equals to zero and you know that the coefficient of x is one and that means the <coughs> equation becomes linear equation so a is not equals to zero is the mandatory condition for the quadratic equation now here on the left hand side you see that some key points key points i have mentioned here already and just we have to fill the values by seeing the quadratic equation coefficient of x square in the equation is a coefficient of x is b and the constant terms you will see here positive c now in the fourth point you will see that half bracket and whole square and in the bracket you will see that coefficient of x and the coefficient of x you know that that is b so just we place here b it will becomes half of b square it means b square upon 4 now start first of all we'll see that the equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equals to 0 well we solve the question by method completing the square the mandatory thing is that the coefficient of x square must be unity coefficient of x square must be unity and here the coefficient of x square is a first of all if the coefficient of x square is not unity unity means coefficient of x square is not 1 make it 1 how just divide with the coefficient of x square it means first of all divide equation by coefficient of x square that is a if we divide the equation with the a it means ax square plus bx plus c is equals to 0 and dividing the both side by a it means each term of on left hand side as well as on the right hand side divided by a and you will see here that a cancel by a and the remaining is x square plus b upon ax plus c upon a is equals to 0 now in this equation the x square coefficient is 1 so just make uh, let's continue now just in the fourth point we see that we need the coefficient of x and what we have to be do just first of all the method is that add coefficient of x half of coefficient of x square on both side and in the fourth point we have already the coefficient of x half coefficient of x but in this case half of coefficient of uh, sorry coefficient of x is b upon a so just we will place here b upon a and the square of b upon a is b square upon <coughs> a square so just we will add half of coefficient of x square on both the side it means x square plus b upon ax we will add on the third term and just shift the constant from left hand side to the right hand side in the fill blanks just we will add, um, place the coefficient of x half of coefficient of x square that is b square upon 4a square b square upon 4a square actually in the left hand side just we want to make the formula which is a plus b whole square and you know that the formula of a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square here our a is x and uh, b is you know that what is that is half of this portion it means if we apply this formula here we will get x plus b upon 
टू ए होल स्क्वायर इज इक्वल्स टू बी स्क्वायर अपॉन फोर ए स्क्वायर माइनस सी अपॉन ए ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड जस्ट वी टेक द एलसीएम एंड द एलसीएम इज फोर ए स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर इज एज इट इज बट हियर द टर्म्स बिकम्स फोर ए सी एज यू नो ऑल ऑफ द एलसीएम नाउ एज वी सी दैट we have the square question on the left hand side now what we will do in the next step just we will shift or just we will take the square root on both the side square root on both side if we take a square root it means x plus b upon 2a square will be shift on the right hand side and the it will becomes plus minus under root b square minus 4ac upon me 4a square as we know that 4a square if we take in the <coughs> 4a square from the square root 4 is the square root of 2 and the a square is the square root of a it will becomes x plus b upon 2a Is equals to plus minus square root. Numerator portion will be same. B square minus 4ac, and the square root of 4 is 2, and the square root of a square is just a. And shift the b upon 2a from left hand portion to the right hand portion. After shifting the b upon 2a from left hand side to the right hand side, we will get that x is equals to This plus will shift from left to right. It will becomes negative minus b upon 2a. And already on the right hand side we have term that is b square minus 4ac upon me 2a. And you will see that 2a is on in the denominator portion of both the terms. So just taking the LCM 2a minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac. that will be equals to x it means we have a formula x is equals to minus b plus minus b is under b square minus 4ac upon 2a and we can apply this formula in any of the quadratic equation if the roots are real and equal or roots are real now in the next few videos we will discuss some examples like x square minus 5x plus 6 equals to 0 and other examples we will upload the three more videos on the computing the square method in which we will we'll discuss the example and but in this video we will discuss the general method how to solve equation by using the computing the square method hopefully you understand what i want to be <coughs> teach you thank you to sing video have a nice day